Shalom family trend. Set up all praises be to the most. Sorry, I'm driving, so you will hear some noise in the background, so please bear with me. Now in this video, I'm gonna to try to take my time trying to ask questions and trying to answer my own question because when you read the New Testament, right, you realize the shit doesn't make sense in so many ways. But today I wanna to focus on Paul, the Apostle Paul, and the contradiction in the Bible when it comes to this, this fella, this dude that never existed, incidentally. So we was taught that Paul's name initially was called Saul. We was also taught that he was a persecutor of the Jews. In other words, he used to be a bounty hunter, if I'm not mistaken, going around rounding up Jews to be put to death or in prison. And um, the story goes that, I guess, I guess in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 20, that he became a Jew, right? It says, it says, and unto, it says, unto the Jews, I became a Jew. So which means that he wasn't really a Jew. He just pretended to be a Jew. And I remember there was a story in the New Testament. I don't know what was wrong with the old one, where when they caught his ass, they was gonna put him to death. He said he was a Roman citizen. He was a Roman, right? He was a Roman citizen. And some may say, well, you know, what's wrong with that? He was a Jew living in Rome, so he was a Roman citizen. Because, you know, like we have many of our people here living in America and shit. Like, for example, I'm from Jamaica. I'm living in America. But I'm a United States citizen. Doesn't mean that I'm a, I'm, 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 I was originally born here. Just that I'm a citizen of this establishment, of this corporation called the United States. So I guess some may try to justify say that's why he did that. But it seems to me that um, Paul was like a chameleon. He used to change. He flip flop. He's never one person for too long. He lied a lot. Do y'all know that Paul lied in the Bible? Paul admitted that he lied. He said he beguiled. He beguiled, which means he tricked many people to follow in this gospel, right? The Pauline doctrine and shit, if you will. And remember, Paul never existed. He's a fictitious character created by the Romans and Nicaea, what they call it. Um, the Nicaea Council and shit, they all got together and, and decided to come up with a fable to try to like lead the Mosai people astray. This is why we're in the condition that we're in because we're following a fucking religion that was not given to us, right? The only the Torah was given to us. So Paul was a persecutor of the Jews. He used to be a bounty hunter. So I was thinking to myself, right, okay, at some point, Paul decided, man, I can't chase these motherfuckers no more. I got to figure out another way to, to kill, you know, to separate these people from their God, to kill them and shit. Because remember, the whole purpose of him tracking down the Jews is to stop them from practicing their religion, right? So Paul allegedly that he said on his way to Damascus and shit, you can read about for yourself, I'm paraphrasing, of course, that he saw a light. First he said he saw a light, and he said the people that, that accompanied him also saw this light. And this light allegedly stated to him, which was supposed to be Jesus Christ, because a lot of y'all don't know that Paul never met Jesus Christ personally, never. Matter of fact, Paul came along 300 years after Jesus Christ. No, was it 300 years, 30 years? I think it was 300 years, if I'm not mistaken, after Jesus Christ allegedly lived, right? In other words, Paul never walked with Jesus Christ, never. But all of a sudden, Paul became the savior of the Gentile because, you know, they write in the scripture, there's near the new, there's near the Jews or Gentile, rich or enslaved, whatever the fuck, rich or poor, whatever. Everybody's equal, according to Paul, because that's what they had to do to, to, to let us believe that, you know, everybody can get salvation. But incidentally, the Torah was only given to one group of people, the Law, Tests, and Commandments, and the Dietary Law was given to only the Israelites, right? Not those people over there pretending to be us, over there in Palestine killing the innocent people. I'm talking about us, the one that went into the transatlantic slave trade according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. It was given to only us. Now, Paul all of a sudden now claimed he saw a light. And this light, and if you notice, everybody that met all right, in other words, everybody that be, be, became a Christian, like even all these so-called founders of the denomination, right? Like, for example, Seventh-day Adventists, that bitch says she saw a light, right? Everybody saw a light. The one, the Mormon guy, he saw a light. It's always a light they see. And remember, Lucifer is the light bringer, right? Lucifer is the light bringer. So could it? Could all these people seeing this light, is they basically see the light from Lucifer, because Lucifer is a light bringer. Everyone, Paul said he saw a light. 
The bitch that found, I forgot her name. She said she saw a light. The Baptist nigga saw a light. Everybody that founded the the the, 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 the splinter group of, of the Catholicism and shit, right? They all saw a light, including Paul. So maybe, just maybe this light that everybody's seeing is none other than Lucifer. Because remember, the Bible says Satan is the god of this world. Satan is synonymous with Lucifer. And he actually ruled this world. This is why you see the world is so fucked up. Right? He's ruling the world. So maybe this light that they saw was Lucifer. And Lucifer gave them this doctrine, right? To indoctrinate people into believing in and worshiping him as opposed to worshiping the Most High. Because I believe that many Christians believe that we are no longer under the law, right? They believe that Jesus Christ is God. Because remember, didn't, didn't Lucifer say he was going to be like God, be like the Most High? Didn't he say that shit? So... All of a sudden, now you have people who worshiping and actually believe in Jesus as God. So he, he was basically whatever he chose to do, it worked because a lot of people are worshiping Jesus as God. They're not worshiping the most high no more. A lot of Christians believe that Jesus is God. So they actually, so, so Lucifer actually accomplished what he, what he set out to do. He said he was going to become like the most high. And, and what, 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 what was one of the biggest thing? that Lucifer wanted people to do, bow down. He, according to even the story, right? Satan wanted Jesus Christ to bow down and worship him, according to the story, but it never existed. So I personally believe that Saul, a.k.a. Paul, or Paul, a.k.a. Saul, came up with this religion. Instead of chasing all over, looking for these people, trying to, you know, probably Paul became old and shit and tired and worn out. So, man, fuck this shit. I can't chase these motherfuckers no more. So I'm going to just say I'm a Jew and shit. And I'm going to just say, you know, I'm one of y'all and I'm from the tribe of Judah. Because remember, Paul lied many times in the Bible. I can give you scriptural references in the Bible where Paul literally lied. So Paul became a Jew. And what he did was he tricked the Jews into start worshiping him but not necessarily worshiping but following jesus christ aka lucifer because jesus christ was re referred to in revelation as the morning star and lucifer is also referred to as the morning star or day star whether y'all know it or not so paul came up with a religion called christianity right well constantine initially had you know emerged paganism with this religion called christianity but anyway Paul is the patriarch of, of the religion called Christianity. And what I believe Paul did, Paul started to trick these people into believing or worshiping another God, a.k.a. Lucifer or Jesus Christ, right? Same person, never met the motherfucker, but y'all are worshiping something y'all never, never seen. Well, some may say, well, you worship the most high, you never seen him, but listen, I've never seen him, but I see his creation. I see his work because I look around me. I see trees, birds, me, people, women, beautiful women, black women, of course. And I see the creations. I know there has to be a creator. But I believe Paul decided he was going to beguile y'all, trick y'all into worshiping Lucifer, another god, giving Lucifer, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, the most high glory, which in the Old Testament, the most I say he was... He doesn't share his glory with no with no one, right? Not even his son, not even wisdom. He didn't even share his shit with her. Y'all say him, the Holy Spirit. But anyway, so Paul have literally accomplished what he wanted to do by separating the true Hebrew Israelite from their God, giving them a new God, a new Savior, Yahweh Shai, Yeshaya, whatever the fuck y'all want to call this New Testament Savior that never existed. Because Paul, again, in 1 Corinthians 9.20, I believe this, yeah, this 20th verse, he said, And unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law. As under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. So basically, the whole purpose of Paul was to round up the Jews and stop them from carrying out the Torah, following the law, statutes, and commandments. I think I may have to make a part two to explain further what I'm trying to convey. Paul is a deceiver. Paul never exists. The Romans created Paul. The New Testament is a made-up book. Y'all are worshiping another, quote-unquote, God. Stop it.